Hi, this is Kez. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing some more of the clearing out of my wigs and we're still on the monofilament ones at the moment and I'm still sorting through to decide which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't. So I'll show them you as I go along, give you my thoughts. Okay, so we'll just go over the makeup I'm wearing today. The eyeshadow is the Planet Spirit Palette from Odin's Eye and it's the Betty Jean collaboration, also known on Instagram as Batty Bean. That's her handle. I'm wearing the Collection Foundation, which is called Illuminating Touch, and I've put a little bit of P. Louise blusher on there. The base is Urban Decay today, with the eyeshadow over the top. And then I've got this lovely little thing here, which is your lifesaver. If you want fluffy looking laminated brows, then the Pink Honey in the original is the best thing to glue those brows down. Just add a little bit of water and it keeps them looking fluffy all day. And the brow gel is just a cheap one that I got off of Amazon, um, which is called Kimuse, but it's basically like a dupe for the Wonder Brow, except a lot cheaper. So yeah, I think that's all in terms of makeup. Oh, my lipstick is Inspira, that's by Maybelline Cosmetics, and it's one of their stay on ones. Right, so that, that being out of the way, let's get on with the wig stuff. So first up here, we have another inspired collection from Natural Image. This one is in Style Fantasy and the shade is Strawberry Glow. So this is the wig itself. It's got a really nice cap inside. And it's quite a large lace front, which is good. Got to keep the wigs in place. Now, as with most natural image wigs, it does tend to get a bit tangly. So you do need to fiddle with it a bit to get it right. I've not put it all the way back on my head because obviously I'm going to be taking them on and off. Now this is one of the keep ones. It's nice, it's very light, it's a lot thinner at the ends which is nice because when you want to throw it on and go, if you're wearing it during the day or you're on holiday, you don't have all that thick hair and as I've said to you before, I do find that hair should be thinner at the ends naturally. I've not pinned it down so you can still see my pink underneath but you can grip it down. It's just obviously for demonstration purposes. You can see the hairline's really natural, but if you look at those shades here, it's just got all of these lovely auburn shades through it. So it's really natural looking. That is definitely on the keep pile. I've not even put my wig cap on, I've just realised. Okay. Now this one is a more, and this one is samantha in toasted brown it's got the nice soft mono cap again here i don't believe this is a lace front it does look quite natural so with this being a toasted brown shade you can see it's got highlights through it of a slightly caramelly tint. The hairline's really natural on it as well. And it's a nice, easy to style bob, so you can just put that on and go. If I was going to wear this, I'd probably wear it with darker makeup shades. But it is a nice little bob to wear. So this is on the keep pile as well. If you're from the UK and you do see any of the wigs that I am getting rid of and you would like to buy them off me, then by all means drop me a message. So we've got another Rennie of Paris here, which is another Amour one. And this one is also Strawberry Swell, which was featured in yesterday's video in the uh, Style of Sky. But this is the Style Cody. Same sort of cap construction because it's by the same brand. I find this one takes a little bit of playing with to get right. The fibres in this are really, really soft and they don't sit completely straight. So when you have this wig on, you have to either steam it or brush it and try and get it right. It is a bit of a... It's not a throw and go one, but it does look nice when it's styled. But I do love the strawberry swirl colour in it. I like the sort of strawberry blonde in there and I like the lighter highlights through it. So it's a really pretty wig. You can get it to look nice. you just got to do a little bit of playing with it. 
I'm undecided on this one at the moment. I'm going to keep it for now. May put it on the pile to go in the future. Sometimes they just don't look good with the makeup you've got. So you've got to bear that in mind that it might look good with, say, darker makeup. Okay, we've got another Rennie of Paris here. This is rosy. And this is rose gold rooted. So it's that lighter shade of blonde again. This one has got a proper lace front. It's a very small bit. You can see where it's been stuck down at points. I've not quite got all of the glue off. I like the shade in this. I did trim this one a little when I got it because the ends were quite raggedy from previous wear. It's a nice wig. But I have one similar in another synthetic wig that I like better. And although it's a very nice graduated bob, that's going to go on the goodbye pile, I think. Because as nice as it is, I just won't wear it much. And it seems a shame for it to just sit there. Again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Just I prefer my, the shade of my other lace front. And I'm trying not to keep similar wigs now because I have so many that are similar. And it's just a waste. I went through a phase where whenever I saw a cheap monofilament wig, I'd just buy it. And I wasn't taking into account whether I'd like it or not. This is another one of my favourites. This is Ellen Will again, and it's from the Perucci collection. And it's in the shade Rosewood Rooted. And the name of the wig is Cloud. With this one, I have cut mine a little bit. So bear in mind that if you bought it, it would be a little bit longer. It's got a lace front as well, which is quite good. I've cut mine back quite a lot. But I really love this shade. It's kind of like an orangey, but the dark roots in it are really, really nice. I always find Ellen Will wigs are really comfortable to wear as well. I can wear them all day without any issue or itching or annoyance to my head. It did come down to about here. I have just nicked the ends off there reason for that is just to make it more wearable for me because when i'm at work and i'm moving around a lot because i don't stand in one spot all day it can get very tangly and just by taking those ends off i've reduced that and it hardly tangles now and it makes it a little bit more wearable and i prefer the length as well on me that's definitely a keep the good thing about Ellen Will wigs is if they do start to look a little bit tatty, if you just give them a good wash and let them dry naturally, they just go right back to looking great again. And because a lot of them are heat resistant, you can either straighten or curl them to give them a little bit more life as well. Okay, we have here Breezy, which I believe is Rene of Paris again. And the colour is a Frozen Sapphire. This is a beautiful wig. I had two, one I straightened but I got rid of it because I prefer it wavy to be honest and I didn't need two. Um, I only got two because I was gifted one which was lovely but it went to a home where somebody else needed it instead. So this has got roots but if you look they're actually blue. They're like a dark indigo blue in the roots and then it fades into this sort of grey blue kind of shade. So it's grey, blue, a little bit of both. It's got a very flexible fringe so you can move the part. The part looks really natural on it. So I don't think you'd know you were wearing a wig. Only the colour might give it away. It's sort of a nice little casual bob. And yes, it's a keep. Another Ellen Will Perucci. You can tell I like Ellen Will wigs. This one is Taboo in the shade Lavender Rooted. Now, I love the Taboo wig. It's lovely. It's a bit like Breezy, but longer. It was a different shade. This one I've had a while. When I first got it, it looked a bit tired. So I washed it and recurled it and it looked really nice because it is heat resistant. Now the curls are fading a little bit again now and she's due another wash and another restyle. But the condition of it itself is fine. It does have that sort of scratchy little baby hair top to it though, which 
I don't like as much as the others because it doesn't look as smooth but I usually just pop a bit of wax on to keep it held down but whenever I've worn this people have thought it's my real hair so that's on the keep pile okay so next we have bell tress again this is in the style champagne apple pie rooted and this is from their Vienna Rose collection I really love this one I can tell you that before I put it on it's got nice roots and it sort of fades into some very lighter blondes i love the style of it because it's wavy it's so lightweight as well the bell tress wigs literally feel like your own hair i think this is a very similar style to the one that i've got in the ginger but this one wasn't designed to have two different lengths to it which is what i like and those roots just look so natural on it really really nice wig so that's on the keep pile again just to show you this does have the lace front to it which is great okay i've got another rene of paris one here this one is Havana, and it's in the color rose gold rooted the color's beautiful with this one and again it's got subtle waves to it so i really like this one Again, it's on the keep. I do believe this has got a lace front. I will have a look. Yeah, and it's got the lace front as well. Again, if it looks a bit tired, just give it a wash. The waves bounce right back. Next, we've got a natural image one, and this is in the style Tranquil. I don't actually know what the colour is. It's a very light blonde, and it's kind of got a mix, but it, it is kind of light. Now this is one of those wigs again that if you're going to put on you need to brush you can't just stick it straight on and go it's a bit like the other one that I had that i wanted to get rid of but it's a longer bob which is fine because it's not graduated i'm not against graduated bobs but not all styles suit whereas this one does so this is another keeper got another nariko samantha here This one is still the Amour one, but this is in a different shade. So this is the dark chocolate instead of the toasted. I thought, <laughs> I used to think it said Dr. Choc on the tag. But looking up, it actually says dark chocolate. <laughs> I just didn't read it right. <laughs> Very good lace front on these wigs. And again, it's got that sort of cap that gives the ventilating so that you don't get too hot. I actually prefer the darker colour in this wig to the lighter one. See, I think the darker one suits me better. But because I like the wig, I am actually keeping both shades. Because I do think they're nice to just throw on and go. This one feels quite dry though, so I think it needs a little bit of a recondition. But it's a nice wig so far out of all the wigs we've managed to find one today to get rid of the problem is when you have so many nice wigs you don't want to get rid of any of them i try really hard to stream down my collection that just doesn't happen this is a raquel welsh signature collection unfortunately raquel welsh recently passed away this is high octane with an average cap and the shade is black coffee now it's got a very big lace front which is brilliant and it does say that it's a memory cap which apparently it sort of manages to mold to your head it does also say inside this one that it's heat friendly so i could straighten it if i wished it's got really pretty brown waves on it it's very natural looking i haven't actually done anything with it so seems a shame to get rid of those curls because they're so pretty so i've just left them in i've got plenty of straight brown wigs but not many wavy ones raquel welsh wigs are slightly pricey but they are worth the money they're absolutely amazing wigs very light to wear very comfortable most of them are heat friendly my holy grail is to find the scene stealer wig in the sort of ready shade i think it's called golden penny or something like that red penny which is like a very orange color 
Now this is a dimples one. It doesn't have a name, so I can't tell you what the wig's called because I don't know. This one has got a lace front, but I've cut the lace right back on it because when I originally got it, it had a fringe in it. And I didn't want a fringe. So I cut it further back so that the fringe would essentially be cut off. But then I had to cut the inside cap back a little bit to compensate. I've got quite a small head, so lying it forward isn't too much of a problem. But I just prefer it better on me without the fringe. The fringe didn't suit me. But it's a nice shade. It's very light wig, beautiful colours through it, natural hairline. So that's on the keep pile. Right, next we have another Amour one. And this is a Sadie in Creamy Blonde. Cap construction is sort of the rubbery cap, so it looks more natural, but it isn't actually a lace front. But I do believe this one has got a fringe. The fringe on this is actually quite long, so it could be cut down if need be, or you could side sweep it if you wanted to. As beautiful as this wig is, I just don't think it suits me. So this is going in the goodbye pile. Another natural image here. And the details of this wig are just natural image, blonde bob, because I don't know what style it is. Now this has got a bit of a lace front there, which I have trimmed, as well as the flexible, I don't even know what you'd call it, but the skin type cap to it. Again, with natural image wigs, I find that if you want to wear them, you do have to play with them quite a bit to get them right. I'm very undecided on this one. I don't know whether to keep it or not keep it. I kind of like the colour, but I'm not sure it suits me. I'm going to keep it for now because I could pin it back and make it look a little bit retro-y but it might go in the future now this one is one of my most expensive wigs this is from the Sentu collection and this is Bluebell and it's from the Lotus wig instead of a shade it just has a number I don't think there's a shade on this it's just L9 stroke 12 stroke 18 I've still actually got the tag on this I've not took it off yet Beautiful lace front, so it is a proper lace cap, and the lace is goes all the way back, so it's like a full lace, even all the way near the back. Now the reason I've not worn it yet is just because I haven't had a chance, it's not that there's anything wrong with the wig. But you can see from my collection, I've got quite a lot of them. So it takes me a while to get around to it sometimes. But it's very natural hairline and quite long. A lot of people seem to like this wig. It's quite a popular style and I can see why. It's really pretty and I love the shape. It's kind of like a golden brown, I'd say, like a nutmeggy colour, which is really pretty. So that's on the keep one. Okay, this is another René of Paris, Havana, and this is in Ice Blonde. But whoever has had it has steamed it straight. So unlike the normal Havana, which is wavy, this one isn't. It's actually straight. It's a nice wig. But because I've now got the wavy one, which I like better. This is going to go on the settle pile. Again, absolutely nothing wrong with it. 
It's actually got a lace cap. It's a very pretty wig. It's just not for me. It has got blonder parts at the end. You can see there. I'll probably do with the ends trimmed a little bit. This is another natural image one here. Doesn't have a name, so I can't tell you what it's called. Or a colour. I just call it brown wavy. Because that's what it is. But this one has got a real mix of colours in it. And when it's brushed, it's actually really pretty. I like that it's got the lighter pieces through it and the highlights. It's got it's not a lace front, unfortunately, but because of the style, it doesn't really matter too much. But it's beautiful wig. So that's on the keepy list. The construction in this is just normal felt. But I find with side part wigs or fringe wigs, it doesn't really matter. Um, I am trying to get rid of most of my non-lace ones, except for the odd one like that one, which I really like. Okay, a few more to go, guys. This is Rene of Paris again. This is also in the shade Pastel Rainbow. But this is rooted, but this is the style Wyatt. Really love this one. It's a really short style. So I've wore it for work quite a few times and I've wore it for some Christmas do's at work. It generally has waves in the end, but the waves seem to have gone out of it a little bit now because I've had it a while. But that's fine. I'll just rewash it and the waves will go back in nicely when I dry it. But you can see there, it's got greens in it and pinks. That's the very slight pastel rainbow to it. And I find people looking at it a lot saying, has that got colour in it? <laughs> Which is quite nice because it's very subtle. So that is a keep. This is Jean Reno Ignite in the shade Shaded Praline. Really love this one. This is one of my favourites. It has got a proper lace front and I've just put some scar tape on the front just to make it a little bit softer for wear because I did find that the lace on it was a bit scratchy. You can't actually tell but it also makes it look more like closer to the, the colour of my own scalp. I usually pull the fringe over so that you can't see the part anyway. So it doesn't really matter with the lace. It looks a bit more natural over there. But this is stunning and i love it it's one of my favorites i'm not really into short bobs but there's a couple that i really like and this is one of them i could wear this all day long so it goes without saying that that's a keep we're almost at the end of the monofilament ones now there's this one here which is unknown but looking at the tag i think it might be natural image because it's another indonesia one but it's an unnamed one this was a brown bob that i got which seemed like a good idea at the time but it's very close to my Noriko one, which means I don't really need two. And I don't like the style on this one as much as the other one. And so this is going in the cell pile. It is a really nice wig and it is lace front. So it's a really nice quality wig. But I just don't see the point of having two. Then I have this one here. This is another monofilament one. And this is actually by Sleek though. So it's part of the hair couture range and it's a nice wig but it's just the blondes are too bright for me and the curls just don't do anything for me so I'm not even going to play with it properly. It doesn't have a lace front it's just a normal construction. This one still got his tags on so this one's practically new and this is natural image as well and it's called Jane but I really don't like the style on me it's a nice shade it's kind of like a brown but the, sh the, the style just doesn't really do anything for me so that's going as well and finally say in here actually this is a Vivisha Fox wig believe it or not but I really don't like the style on me. 
it's a nice blonde but you see how the fringe is high i don't like that and the coloring just doesn't suit me so that's going nearly there one more this is dimples and it has got like an almost lace top so it's a good quality wig but again just doesn't suit me as lovely as it is i've got longer ones in similar shades which are better so that's the last one well, i hope you've enjoyed looking through all the monofilament wigs i will be doing a part three which will have all of my other wigs in and there'll probably be more parts as i go along because obviously there's i've got a lot of wigs but i hope you've enjoyed having a look through those just one more to show you today which isn't monofilament but this is the one i'm going to be wearing today this one i got off a lovely lady online it's beachy waves and it's like a subtle blonde balayage she didn't know the brand and i don't know the brand either so i can't actually tell you what the brand is but it is a lace front and quite a good lace front as well there we go so this is today's hair i hope you like it you can subscribe to the channel if you like if you're watching this you will be seeing a clip of it on tiktok then by all means subscribe to the channel where you'll be able to see the full video thanks for watching see you next time